Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to walk you through how to use your wireless CarPlay screen powered by iWeOS. Part 1, Basic Interface Guide. Let's start with the bottom control bar. Here you can access settings and the core feature page, phone link page. Next is the dash cam window. Most quick access buttons are placed right on the home screen for convenience. Swipe down from the top to bring out the global drop-down menu. Here you'll find shortcuts to multiple pages. You can also toggle dark mode from this menu. Once enabled, the home screen switches to a sleek dark background. Now, let's explore the feature pages. Tap the enter icon on the dash cam window to open the dash cam recording page. Tap the settings icon in the bottom control bar to enter system settings. To connect your phone, use either the feature icons on the home page, CarPlay slash Android Auto, or tap the phone link icon in the control bar to switch connection modes. Want the audio from your car speakers? Tap audio out to choose your preferred output method. To view dash cam footage, tap playback and watch your recorded videos. Part two first time setup tips. Before your first drive, go to settings and format the memory card. If you don't like the beat sound when touching the screen, disable touch sound effect in settings. For any questions, tap support in settings and scan the QR code to contact us. Part three, first time CarPlay connection. On the home page, tap CarPlay icon to enter phone link page. Make sure CarPlay mode is selected. On your iPhone, open settings, turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Go to Bluetooth, find the device starting with iWeIK and tap pair. Allow contacts and favorites sync. When prompted to use CarPlay, tap use CarPlay. If you missed it, tap the info icon next to the Bluetooth name to enable it. Wait 15 to 60 seconds and iWe screen will enter CarPlay automatically. In CarPlay mode, tap the floating button to open the menu and return to the iWe home screen. To re-enter CarPlay, tap the CarPlay icon again. To disconnect, turn off Wi-Fi on your phone, not Bluetooth. Note, next time you power on iWe screen, it will auto-connect to CarPlay within 15 to 60 seconds. Part four, using AirPlay on iPhone. Tap AirPlay icon, switch to AirPlay mode if needed. On your iPhone, go to settings, enable Wi-Fi. Connect to the iWe Wi-Fi using password 12345678. Give it a few seconds. Once the blue check mark shows up next to your Wi-Fi name, you're good to go. Once connected, swipe down for control center tap screen mirroring select iWe screen. To exit AirPlay, tap stop mirroring in control center. Part five, first time Android auto connection. Tap Android auto icon switch to Android auto mode. On your Android phone, Turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Go to Bluetooth, find the device starting with iWeIK, tap pair. Allow message access. Wait 15 to 60 seconds for auto connection to Android Auto. Tap the floating button for menu return to home screen if needed. Disconnect by turning off Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth. Next startup will reconnect automatically unless you switch to another connection mode. Part six, Android with Miracast. Tap Miracast icon, switch to Miracast mode. Tap touch adaptation and choose your mode. Samsung phones select Samsung DeX mode. Other Android phones select general mode. On your phone, swipe down control panel, tap DeX shortcut, select iWe device to connect. Wait 15 to 60 seconds for Samsung DeX to load. In DeX, Tap the floating button for menu return to iWe Home anytime. To exit, swipe down again and tap DEX shortcut to disconnect. Part seven, CarPlay connection failed? If CarPlay doesn't connect, check these steps. First, on the phone link page, make sure CarPlay mode is selected. Tap BT Manage under CarPlay mode. Check if your phone is connected via Bluetooth or if it says no connected. If another phone is connected, turn off Bluetooth on that phone first. Now reconnect Bluetooth. When the pop-up appears, tap Use CarPlay. Make sure your phone's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both turned on. Here's another way you can try. Open settings on your iPhone. Go to General, then tap CarPlay. In the Other Cars list, select your iWe device. Allow Bluetooth pairing. Then wait patiently until CarPlay connects. Part 8. Android Auto Connection Failed? 
If Android Auto doesn't connect, do this. On the phone link page, make sure Android Auto mode is selected. Tap BT Manage under Android Auto mode. Check if your phone is connected via Bluetooth or if it says no connected. If another phone is connected, turn off its Bluetooth first. Make sure both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. Reconnect via Bluetooth and when prompted, confirm Android Auto. If it still fails, open Google Play. Update the Android Auto app to the latest version. Then try again. Part 9, Firmware Update. Important, only update the firmware if your iWi screen is not working properly. If CarPlay works fine, no update is needed. On the home page, tap the settings icon. Find the version icon and tap it to view device info. Tap Upgrade Version to open the upgrade guide. Scan the first QR code to download the firmware file. Make sure your phone has internet access. Do not connect to iWi Wi-Fi during this download, it has no internet. Once the download is done, go to Wi-Fi settings on your phone. Connect to the iWi screen Wi-Fi with password 12345678. Now scan the second QR code. This opens the upload page. Tap Choose File. Select the file you downloaded, usually named upgrade.img. Tap update and wait for the upload to finish. When you see the file download is complete, go back to the iWi screen. A pop-up will show a new software version. Tap confirm upgrade. Wait until the upgrade completes. Do not cut power. Do not press the power button. If you do, the device may be damaged. When done, the device will restart automatically. Part 10, Changing Audio Output Method. We provide four audio output methods. Tap Audio Out to choose your preferred output method. We've rated them by audio quality, so you can choose the one that suits you best. Our top recommendation, Car Bluetooth. Choose this if your car supports Bluetooth music. In this mode, CarPlay or Android Auto will only transmit video. Audio will play from your phone's speaker. You can then connect your phone's Bluetooth to your car's Bluetooth, achieving lossless wireless audio. This mode is interference-free and delivers the best sound quality. If your car does not support Bluetooth music, check if it has an AUX input port. If yes, select AUX output mode. We do not include an AUX cable in the package, so you'll need to purchase one yourself. For better sound quality, choose a high-quality AUX cable to reduce ground loop interference. If you hear a buzzing or hissing noise from the AUX output, contact us for an AUX filter to fix it. Plug one end of the AUX cable into the iWi screen's 3.5mm AUX output port. Plug the other end into your car's AUX input port. Audio will then automatically output to your car speakers. Note, if you switch to another output mode, remove the AUX cable first. Otherwise, the output mode cannot be changed. If your car does not support AUX input, Select the FM audio output mode. To use FM, you must power the iWi screen using the car charger included in the package. Otherwise, FM will not work. Set the FM transmit frequency on the iWi screen. Then open your car radio and tune the radio frequency to match the transmit frequency. FM audio may pick up interference from other signals. If you hear strong noise, use the auto scan function on your car radio to search for a clean channel. Find two available radio stations and choose an empty frequency between them. The longest empty frequency range will help reduce interference.